Hi YouTube world, so I just want to make a quick how-to video on how to do the smoky eye that I did. Um, I'm kind of over the whole like, let's do browns and blacks and that's about it and let's go out. I want to do something more fun and something like bold, you know, get some like golds up in there, get some glitter flakes, get some, I don't fucking know what I'm even saying right now, so yeah, um, yeah, so if you guys want to see this look, how I achieved it, this eye look, I didn't do my brows in this video, I didn't do my lips, and I didn't do my face. Um, if you do want to see this eye look that I did, stay tuned, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to me. God damn it. Okay, first things first, we're going to put down some loose powder, just to catch any fallout that we might have. It's just one of those old drag tricks that I like to do. Yeah. Now we're going to prime our eyes. Obviously we need primer to keep our shadows on a lot longer. I like to tell clients that primers are basically magnets for makeup. They allow shadows to stay true to your color and not crease, etc, etc. You guys know the deal. Pat that shit on like it's your job and let it melt into your skin. Do not apply a shadow when the primer is still wet. Let it dry first. I promise it'll help. Look into the camera like you're gorgeous because you are, obviously. Now we're going to go in with peaches and cream, something like that, it's like peaches something from Makeup Geek and then we're going to go all over the lid with that, right up to our brow bone, no what the fuck, not our brow bone, we're going right up to our crease, okay, lid and crease, with that whole shadow, everywhere. Looking pretty, now we're going to go in with Cocoa Bear. And that's just going to go basically all over our entire lid. No, it's not. What am I even saying? This is the first time I'm recording. This is so weird. I don't like it. Actually, I do, but I need to get used to it. So that's going to be on our outer third of our eye. And we're going to just blend, blend, blend. Go in with a nice little, like, 217 type style brush. And we're just going to blend into our crease. The closer I'm getting towards the inner corner of our eye, the lighter the strokes I'm doing. So, yeah, now. You guys feel me? You guys know what I'm saying. blending still cool I just want to actually put this clip in there because I noticed that one eye was completely off and the other one that one was a lot higher than the last one and so what you really want to do is just kind of take a step back and you're like whoa let me see the shadows are they turning out good do I need to go back in with more and blend higher and that's what I did now we're going in with a really small real techniques brush and we're just basically putting that on the outer third of our eye just to give us that definition and that depth. I'm actually kind of carving out my eye, like the crease of my eye, almost like a cut crease, just to kind of separate my lid from the Cocoa Bear eyeshadow with that black. That black is blacker than my fucking night sky and shit like that. Now we're gonna go in with that brush that we just used earlier, and we're just gonna blend circular motions, keep blending. Blending is key to this look, but any, basically any smoky eye is blending. Blending for fill. Blending, blending, is number one. Mm -hmm. So blending, girl. I'm still blending. Cool. See if it's symmetrical. See if it's what you like. If you do like it, keep going. Next step. Boom. Gel liner. So we're gonna go in just with my finger. I went in with my finger. I really don't care. We're gonna apply the most gel liner towards where our lashes are because I like it when it's darkest by my lashes. And we're just going to kind of feather our finger upwards, that makes sense. We're just going to blend with our finger the gel liner into the black shadow that we cut our crease with originally. And that's why it's giving us that nice fade gradient, darkest by the lashes. Now we're going to go back in with Cocoa Bear right on top of that gel liner. Just to make it really pretty, make it look like some milk and dark chocolate mixed together. You know I love my chocolate. I really do. Yeah, blend, blend, blend. Cool brow action. Yes. Mm -mm. I actually kind of fucked up on that side, so I just wanted to show you guys that it really doesn't matter. We're going to go in with a pigment on top of it anyway, so it's all good if you mess up. Keep going. I went back in with Corrupt Shadow, and I went all over the brown because I kind of wanted it to be darker. So I went a little bit lower than the Cocoa Bear, just to make it a little deeper. Now the fun part, we're going in with the pigment. Get some Fix Plus. Spray your brush, spray that shit, you'll be fine. And I forgot to film it. Actually, no, I did, but I was out of focus completely, so I went in. 
and just wanted to show you guys I went, I'm going in with Utopia pigment from Make a Peak this really gorgeous gold like flakiness that's why we put that powder down first because there's a lot of fallout with this pigment like I've never not used it where there wasn't a shit ton of fallout so and that's not what you're doing getting that big powdery brush wipe away all that loose powder and it kind of acts as a highlight too it's kind of soaking into our skin so I like it boom all that shit wiped away now we're gonna go in with some shadow on the bottom of our eye I always make weird faces when I do it I just can't help it you just do that look you just look like a dumbass it's fine now we're gonna go in with some mascara and some liner and that's the look look at that that'll really make that look No one like that stinky shit, I'm just saying. Pero I'm just saying no one wants that stinky shit. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> my eyes are watering. A flake, a flake got in there. A flake, he got in my eye. 